So I am back with the 7 best Vyga farms in Lords of the Fallen after the latest patch. Today we cover farms for everybody, end game players and players who've basically just started the game. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Vyga is the most important item in Lords of the Fallen. It not only allows you to level up in regards to XP material, it also is used for purchasing mass majority of items in this game, from upgrades to weapons, buffs, armors, other materials, and much, much more. Today in this video, I'll bring you the seven best uh, Vyga farms which work after the latest patch. These consist of chill farms, no effort farms, farms where you trap the red reaper and farms that will earn you upwards of easily 600k Vyga per hour. Now everything will be time stamped down below including items to increase efficiency in regards to these farms. Uh, so yes, I use specific weapons which will help with that efficiency. Again these and buffs to let's say Vyga multipliers, these items and how you get them can be found also timestamped down below. But let's get into these farms guys and first up we have a couple of no effort farms. Okay so firstly from the battle room vestige, this one really is simple and it's been in since the start of the game. Run past this enemy, throw yourself off the ledge, he follows, you spawn back up in the umbral realm, the blast takes out the remaining enemies, you then soul flay to collect that Vyga, run back to that vestige, rest and repeat. This is super simple and will earn you depending on your Vyga multipliers anywhere towards 1000 plus Vyga every time you run this. Simple. Another farm from the Bow Room Vestige sees you doing an even chiller farm for roughly the same results in regards to Vyga. All you need guys is a seed to plant that anchor between realms and you're good to use this. So from the Bow Room Vestige point, follow this path as I do on screen now. You will eventually get to this point here, plant that seed. Then guys all you do is run into this corner, pop into that umbral realm, this kills enemies on the other side of this wall, you then simply soul flay that Vyga, run back to that anchor, rest and repeat. It really is that simple. Next up guys, we have a farm which sees you farming uh, some low level enemies who are apparent in quite a number. So from the revelation depths vestige of lost by rescue, uh, this is what you want to do to make this most efficient. Spawning right here, run up to this platform above you, enter that umbral realm, then take out the two umbral shields and then just lay down that slaying of the enemies. Then guys run down to the bottom area and take out all the enemies down here too. Simply then run back to the vestige taking out any stragglers on your way. Once you get to the vestige I would use that soul flay of that Vyga though just in case you missed any. Uh, and then guys simply rest at the vestige and then repeat the process. It's quite simple, it's quite easy, it's fast and it will earn you around 3 to 4k Vyga every minute or two. Uh, all dependent on the Vyga multipliers you have on. You also earn a ton of those of Vyga schools in the process.
Okay, so the next few farms, guys, consist of you taking out a couple of bigger enemies, resting and repeating. This gives you a minimum of 1k Viger per run, and if you're quick at doing this, you can do this almost 10 times per minute, depending on what you're using in regards to that weapon damage. Now, the weapon I am using, which makes this way more efficient, is the Hara Delvler's Crossbow with those explosive bolts. This makes easy work of most enemies and you can pair these with that black feather ring and cross bombers ring. These if you're interested in again the weapons, uh, the bolts, the rings I'll showcase you guys at the end of the video but it makes farming enemies for Viga so much easier. Okay, so once you have what you need uh, from the MP and Vestige guys, the first one we're going to check out from the Vestige of the Cursed Knight, you want to follow the path backwards as I do on screen now. You will also need a seed in doing this. So once you get down here, activate this lever if you haven't already, this opens up the path. Then run in here guys and plant that seed. From this point, simple, you rest, simply then take out these two big guys, grab that Viga, rinse and repeat. It really is as easy as that. Next up guys from the same vestige of the cursed knight within the Imperium, here you want to travel to the church. Firstly though to get into the church you need that church key so follow the path I take. You will eventually get to this room, but you need to open up that passage. This means guys, you have to go around to the left of this room and clear out so flared of openage to this passage. It really is this simple. Once that passage is clear, around the right side is a chest which beholds the church key. So once you have the key guys, head back down and enter the church. Then guys follow this path I take on screen now to the end of the hall and plant that seed. From here, rest and simply run down these few steps, take these two big guys out. Once they start kneeling, run back to the anchor, uh, soul flare that Viger rest and repeat. It really is that simple guys. Okay so next up guys from the vestige of Lydia the Nun Witch, follow this path I take on screen now. This again will require a seed for you to plant that anchor between realms, so make sure you have one.
So once you're at this point guys, plant that seed. Upon investing, you want to enter that Umber Realm ASAP. And then guys, take out these big two enemies down below. Now these ain't the easiest two enemies to take out, but if you have the right crossbow and the bolts as I do, and again, I'll showcase to you guys at the end of the video how you get these, they are simple, simple work. So once you take them out, Soul Flay that Viger, rest and repeat the process guys. It really is that simple. Okay, so lastly today for the Viga Farms, we have a farm which allows you to trap the Red Reaper and continue on farming within that Umbral Realm with those increased Viga gains with a minimum of a 3 times multiplayer on what you earn. So from the Crow's Nest Vestige of Alosh, follow this path I take on screen now. Through this boss arena who you will have to take out before you progress if you haven't already. Now once you get here guys, enter that Umbral Realm. Then right here, you need to stand on this exact spot, I mean this exact spot people, and wait for the eyeball to turn red, indicating that the Red Reaper is about to jump upon your ass. So standing on this point, you will notice he doesn't actually appear to attack you. So from here guys, you want to clear the passage by using that soul for a yank, and then run forward to this next small area. And again guys, do the same thing here. Then progress forward guys, and in this little small area here guys, you are free to farm those enemies with that increased Viga gain, and the Red Reaper should leave you alone. Now there are a couple of things to keep in mind if you do this, stay away from the top left and right corners, these can sometimes trigger that Red Reaper to appear. Also if enemies do stop spawning, which is in a rare instance, uh, run up to the centre and wait a quick second, and then guys continue on with your farm, because they will reappear. And there we have it guys, the best Viga farms after the latest patch. Now in regards to the items which can help you make these farms more efficient, firstly we will look at the ways in which you can use to increase those Viga gains. And first up the Moth Ring. This one supply gives you a 10% increase in those Viga gains. And how you get this guys, you can see this on screen now.
And we also have the Nilak runes, which can be applied to certain weapons. These alone give you 10% increase uh, per rune slotted in a weapon. Now, some weapons in this game can be hold three runes. Now, the Nilak rune does come from the Mimic Moths, but they are super, super rare. So, upon your playthrough, when you come up against one before you soul flare them, I'd probably, if I were you, increase your item discovery in any which way possible before you start soul flaring them. Because again, once you take these out, they don't respawn, so you got one chance. I mean, and I don't know how many do this for a playthrough, probably between seven and ten. So you have between seven and ten chances of getting these Neolak runes per playthrough. So, yes, they are super, super rare. So, do what you gotta do to increase the item discovery before you take these out. Now, in regards to the weapon I use within the video, the Hara, Delvlers, Crossbow, and those explosive bolts, these mount enemies and make farming that Vyga so much easier. While the crossbow comes from you defeating the Hara Delvler, uh, the Pledge Knight, and the Unbroken Promise at Revelation Depths, and then using the Remembrance upon Skyrest, you can then go and buy this amazing crossbow. The explosive bolts can be found at the location seen on screen now. And there we have it guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.